allies that provide ISIS with its money. Sherman told MSNBC if civilians are helping ISIS in any way, they should be considered viable targets. The White House has its Christmas tree. First Lady Michelle Obama received the 18 and a half foot Fraser fir this morning. It was delivered by a horse-drawn wagon. This year's tree comes from Bustard's Trees of Pennsylvania. The tree will be on display in the White House Blue Room. More news at westernjournalism.com. I'm Jason Wirt. Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, U.S. Tax Shield can help you take back control. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Our team of tax attorneys can stop collections and get you protected. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the BBB, so call 800-479-2697. U.S. Tax Shield, 800-479-2697. If you're like me and have tremendous respect for Americans fighting men and women, this story's going to make you a little angry. They don't have enough wreaths for the heroes buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Here's correspondent John Clemens. Unless there is a dramatic response to their fundraising efforts of the nonprofit organization, as many as 30,000 headstones of these veterans will not be honored. Several years ago, Wayne Hansen, who is now chairman of the board of the nonprofit, faced a shortage of not being able to place a wreath on each headstone. It was then he saw an elderly man standing over one empty headstone. He had one question for Hansen. What about my son? It was like a knife going into my chest. And luckily, we had a wreath, and, and I could give him a wreath uh, for that. But that next person, what if they came and, and said, what about my daughter or what about my dad? Wayne Hansen fought with the U.S. Army in Vietnam from 1967 to 1971. I'm John Clemens. Belgian authorities say a sixth person is in custody in connection with the attacks in Paris this month. Prosecutors have not identified the suspect, but they did say the person has been charged with terrorist murders. The city of Brussels, Belgium, was basically shut down during the last week as authorities conducted massive anti-terror raids while searching for Salah Abul Sam, a 26-year-old Belgian national believed to have taken part in the attacks in France that left 130 people dead. The French government held a memorial today and vowed again to take out any terrorists who threaten their homeland. USA Radio News. Your connection to quality cannabis insurance services is spelled K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. That's Karcher Insurance. We have worked with ventures like cannabis for over 60 years. We're proud to represent over 50 companies with tailor-made cannabis plans for owners just like you to insure your product, your plants, and your pursuits. K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R spells out their full-service insurance services, ranging from commercial to bonds, to personal, from life to health, and more. Contact the team at CarcherInsurance.com and let our experience work for you. That's K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R Insurance.com. Contact Karen and the team at Karcher Insurance at 1-844-421-3560. That's 844-421-3560. Educator, author, and advocate, Dr. Mitch Earlywine is here to tackle the burning issues. And I'm here to clear up the myths about cannabis and burn them away with science. CannabisRadio.com presents a no-holds-barred platform that seeks to redefine and revolutionize the entire scope of the cannabis culture while opening the door for more to join the cannabis crusade. Dr. Kevin Hill. You can't ignore the fact that, like alcohol, Most people who use don't have a problem, so I think that you need to think about policy in that way while educating people properly about marijuana. I think that's the way to go. Burning Issues, only on CannabisRadio.com. USA Radio Network Sports, I'm Ray Canterbury. Greg Ward Jr. threw for 308 yards and three TDs to lead number 21 Houston to a 52-31 victory over number 15 Navy in college football Friday. With the win, Houston clinched the Western Division of the American Conference. Meanwhile, number 24, Toledo, was upset 35-30 by Western Michigan. The loss by Toledo sends Northern Illinois to the mid West Conference Championship game. One other game of note will be the Battle of Texas as number 7 Baylor meets number 19 TCU in Fort Worth. The NBA returns to action Friday, and one of the big mysteries of the young season is the slow start by the Clippers. Friday night, they host New Orleans, and L.A. coach Doc Rivers says they're struggling to find consistency. Every night is one or the other. I and mean, as bad as our, I didn't think our, our defense was that bad tonight, especially in the first half. I thought our defense was terrific. Uh, we couldn't score points. You know, um, 
you know, two or better scores or two for whatever. And I would say of most of those, they had pretty good looks. And this is USA Radio Sports. Owning and caring for a home comes with a lot of to-dos. Tune up the furnace, clean the gutters, remodel the kitchen. Whatever your home improvement need, Home Advisor can help you find a pro you can trust to get the job done right. Go to rebuild.homeadvisor.com for instant access to top-rated pros in your area, including electricians, handymen, plumbers, whatever type of home pro you need. And Home Advisor is absolutely free to use. At Home Advisor, you can read customer reviews of the pros, even use the cost guide to find out what hundreds of other home projects cost. This is the USA Radio Business Report. I'm Russ Jones. Black Friday's here, and Dr. Scott B. with the Cleveland Clinic says many folks live for the thrill of getting a good deal. We're stimulating parts of ourselves that don't get a lot of attention sometimes. And again, if it's not problematic, if it's not spilling over, costing too much, there's nothing wrong with, you know, delighting that part of your brain. Bargain hunting can be like panning for gold. You have to sift through a lot of items to find the gym. When you find that gym, Dr. B says big alarms go off in the reward center of your brain. He says that delightful brain chemistry makes you more likely to repeat the behavior. I've run into plenty of people who have stacks and stacks of new stuff they bought because it was a bargain, but they've never opened it. They never really had a real use for it. So make sure if you're shopping for a bargain that it's something that you're really going to use. If you're looking for more news, we're on the web at westernjournalism.com, and it's free. I'm Russ Jones. Dr. Dabber, hurry! Its temperature is shooting past 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's burning up! I'm afraid for this little guy, it's just too late. What caused the problem? Only Dr. Dabber can maintain the perfect temperature for a smooth-tasting, slower burn. This standard vaporizer lost all of its health benefits, sending it up in smoke. So you're telling me that most vapor pens burn so hot they produce smoke, not vapor? Correct! Keep away from those standard vaporizer pens and turn to Dr. Dabber. Doctor's orders. Less heat, (laughs) more flavor. about all things cannabis this is cannabisradio.com a service of cannabis media stand by for another great hour of cannabisradio.com but first let's get you informed with news around the world in 90 seconds doc rob the concierge for better living cannabis is just one of the many great plants that we have on this planet called earth that we can use consciously and intelligently to improve our well-being. Take a real, raw, inside look at healthier living while sharing great ideas and improvements for a better quality of life. Learning to live and live well is a lifelong process. This is a journey. It could be you could be 80 years old or 8 years old. You can still learn something that's going to make tomorrow a little bit healthier, a little bit easier, a little bit happier, a little bit better. The Concierge for Better Living with Doc Rob. Only on CannabisRadio.com Chronicling the latest cannabis industry news and headlines. Well, with four states with tax and regulate and the District of Columbia. The state of cannabis. Oh my God, it's refreshing. We have people that generally wouldn't speak on behalf of cannabis for fear of retribution, fear of losing your practices, fear of of many of those things, and and find ourselves in in a a place that we finally can. Bringing you fact-based news and views and keeping listeners on the pulse of what's happening in the industry today. The state of cannabis. On demand anytime, only on CannabisRadio.com. USA Radio News, I'm Jason Wirt. The standoff is done in Colorado Springs. A gunman has been taken into custody after holding off police for hours by shooting at them from within inside a Planned Parenthood. Police Department spokeswoman Lieutenant Catherine Buckley praised the response of officers. I know that our our officers acted with untold valor to make sure that individuals were safely taken out of the Planned Parenthood building. We also had officers that immediately responded to the surrounded businesses and they made sure that people received any type of medical aid and they were safe in those surrounding businesses. 
Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump received some bad news today. A new Reuters poll shows that his rankings have dropped 12% in less than a week, the largest decline since he rose to the top of the Republican field. The real estate mogul was a favorite of 43% of Republicans five days ago. Today, just 31%. USA Radio News. From Feature Story News in Washington, I'm Rebecca Foster. Turkish and Russian officials are continuing to go head-to-head over the downing of a Russian jet that allegedly violated Turkish airspace Tuesday. France has held a memorial service for the 130 victims of the deadly Paris attacks that took place two weeks ago. This as a sixth person in Belgium has been arrested and charged in connection with the attacks. Great websites today need expert web design and development and need to be e-commerce ready and mobile friendly. But building a marketable and profitable website can be an uphill climb. Ready to make your new website or replace your existing website? Think Orange as the new way to get in the black. Orange Hill Development works with Fortune 500 companies and offer the same top quality development service at a fraction of what other providers charge. Brands like Absolute, Carlsberg, and Nestle trust Orange Hill Development. Find out why you should trust your website with Orange Hill. Contact Orange Hill for a consultation today at orangehilldevelopment.com. From high atop Mount Soldad in San Diego, California, 100 feet above sea level. Good morning. It's good news with cannabis nurse Heather. This plant is amazing. Positive change is happening. We did it. No matter who you are, you can make a positive impact on the world. I would rather be illegally alive than legally dead. And that quote helped to give you strength. Nurse Heather is only on CannabisRadio.com. Good morning, Cannabis Nurse Heather. Helping Gajapreneurs grow. Gajapreneur starts right now. Only on CannabisRadio.com. Welcome to Ganjapreneur, helping Ganjapreneurs grow and succeed in every sector of the cannabis industry. Ganjapreneur will introduce you to the cannabis pioneers who are paving the way for future generations. Learn about the shifting landscape of the market directly from the experts and get to know some of the leading minds in the industry as they tell their story of struggles and success. Now, CannabisRadio.com presents Ganjapreneur. Hi there, and welcome to the Gontrepreneur.com podcast. I'm your host, Shango Lose. The Gontrepreneur.com podcast gives us an opportunity to speak directly to entrepreneurs, cannabis growers, product developers, and cannabis medicine researchers, all focused on making the most of cannabis normalization. As your host, I do my best to bring you original cannabis industry ideas that will ignite your own entrepreneurial spark and give you actionable information to improve your business strategy and improve your health and the health of cannabis patients everywhere. Today, my guest is John Davis. John Davis is a founding member and executive director of the Coalition for Cannabis Standards and Ethics. He has worked on drug policy reform for over 20 years. John was a board member of Hemp Initiative Projects in Washington State starting in 1993, where he helped to author early marijuana legislation initiatives and run the campaigns. He is founder of the Northwest Patient Resource Center, a medical marijuana dispensary in Seattle, Washington, soon to be 502 licensed. John was elected to the Board of Directors of the National Cannabis Industry Association in 2012, where he was elected vice chair in 2014. John is a board member of the Coalition for Responsible Cannabis Reform, the Nevada Cannabis Industry Association, and was a founder of the Washington Cannabis Commission Project. John has served as cannabis policy expert to the state of Washington and the city of Seattle, as well as several other states and localities. He has been an advisor to foreign presidents, heads of state, British Parliament, and multiple U.S. agencies. John helped author the Washington State Implementation Guide for 502 Regulated Cannabis with the Washington State Interagency Regulators Achieving Cooperation. Before his move to the cannabis industry, John provided construction services for the U.S. military and held a high-level U.S. military security clearance. John has been featured on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, CNN Money, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Twitter, and many more. John was Cannabis Business Executive's pick for the eighth most influential person in cannabis policy of all time. Today, he is here to speak with us about working with state legislators on cannabis reform. 
Welcome, John. Hey, thanks for having me, Shango. Great to be here. So, John, what are your initial recommendations for someone new to following cannabis legislation at the state level so they get off on the right foot? Well, it's with anything. You first don't take other people's word for what's going on in a legislative body, even someone that is connected, because they don't always give you the, the full picture, and sometimes they have an agenda. The thing about it is, if you're 